Welcome back everyone to episode 2 of Let's Play Neverwinter Nights. When we last left off, I had just started the game, I had just run through the academy, and I had witnessed the Water Davian creatures escaping. Now, um, I can't I oh, there we go. So I'm playing a wizard aiming to become a Pale Master, which is a prestige class in the 3.0. 3.0 rules, sorry, I kept saying 3.5 in the last video, but it's actually 3.0 in the first game, and the second game is 3.5. So. In one. Alright, so, we're meeting up with Fenthic and Dester again. You are quick to answer the summons. Allow me to be the first to welcome you to the Halls of Justice. This is a mistake, Fenthic. We know nothing about this well. How can you so blindly trust them? Dester, please. Sagi showed great promise throughout his training at the Academy, and has done even more in the week since the attack. Rarely has a recruit shown such potential after a sh so short a training period. If we are to have any hope of finding a cure for the Wailing Death, we need people like Sagi in the service of Neverwinter. I only serve if I'm well paid, Fenthic. Such cowards disregard the, the suffering of the others. Is this the kind of mercenary we want working for us, Fenthic? There is nothing wrong with wanting to earn one's fortune in the world, Dester. Rest assured, Sake, you will be well rewarded for your efforts. Please, Sake, you must forgive Dester. The plague takes a heavy toll on us all, a toll made even greater in the past weeks by the attack on the Academy and the loss of the cure. Dester had better watch his mouth or he might lose some teeth. Uh, no, he has no right to speak about me like that. You do not understand, Sage. The true horror of the Wailing Death had yet to be felt within the Academy's walls. The quarantine of Neverwinter has done little to halt the spread of the Wailing Death. Bonfires burn night and day as the city watch disposes of the dead. Yet the corpses are piled even higher, ever higher. It is all we can do to contain the chaos and maintain order within the various city districts. Rumors run rampant and the citizens are on the verge of panic. Because the plague cannot be cured by the priests or clerics of the city, some claim it is an unnatural thing, sent by an unknown enemy bent on destroying Neverwinter. The attack on the academy in this past week will only make things worse, Fenthic. Once people learn how Erbeth lost the cure, or f through her lack of faith... Dester, I will not have you question the faith of my true love. Erebeth believed the academy to be a safe haven. Anyway, it is not our place to even discuss such things. My lady Erebeth is in charge, appointed by Lord Nasher himself to stop the Wailing Death. You must talk to her side as soon as possible. I guess I go to... I guess I better go talk to Erebeth if I want any kind of reward from all this. My lady Erebeth awaits you in the chamber beyond the north doors. There, she works tirelessly to put an end to the plague that ra plague and ravages Neverwinter. Go with the blessings of care upon you. Listen to me here. I must speak with you. Welcome to you. I regret I did not get a chance to introduce myself properly to you while you were training at the Academy. I am Lady Erebeth de Tilmerand, paladin in the service of Tyr and the right hand of Nasha Alagondar, Lord of Neverwinter. I have been waiting for you. You were waiting for me? Why? I have been following your progress since your early training at the Academy. Neverwinter has need of one like you if we are to survive the Wailing Death. The attack on the Academy doused the one faint spark of hope the city had. I need you to help recover that which we have lost. I serve no master but myself. You will answer only to me, and I will give you free reign in your tasks. I promise your reward for this task will be well worth your efforts. There are many rumors about the plague, but if you are to aid me in this, it is important you know the truth about the Wailing Death. Our divine healers can do nothing to help those afflicted by the Wailing Death, and even our most powerful magic cannot raise those who succumb to the illness. But a short time ago, we had word that Kelvin Blackstaff Aronson, the famous Archmage of Waterdeep, had discovered a potential cure, one that might be concocted from the essence of four rare and magical creatures. 
Time's Under great secrecy, point. the four creatures were gathered in Waterdeep, then sent here to Neverwinter. As strange a menagerie as any has ever set eyes on. A cockatrice, an intellect devourer, a yonti, and a dryad. I ordered them sent to the Academy, Neverwinter's renowned training institution for adventurers of every ilk. I once studied there myself, and I thought the instructors and students were loyal to Lord Nasher. So you think someone within the Academy betrayed you? The Academy may have been betrayed from within, or perhaps I simply put too much faith in the instructors, students, and staff to keep this news secret, as Desta claims. You were there. You saw the slaughter. The attack caught us unprepared. You are one of only a handful of survivors from the carnage of the Academy. Benthic and Dester arrived with reinforcements, but during the confusion of battle, the Water Davian creatures disappeared into the streets of Neverwinter, and our hopes of a cure vanished with them. Let me guess, you already get those creatures back. Your task in this is twofold. First, find the Water Davian creatures and bring them back to me, at any cost. We need to harvest components from these creatures if we are to concoct a cure for the Wailing Death. This is your most important duty. <laughs> Second, duty. we must discover who was behind the attack on the Academy. Any evidence you uncover in this matter should be brought to Fenthic. He is the one assigned the task of unmasking our hidden enemy. Why did you choose me for this? You proved yourself during the attack on the Academy. Your bravery and skill are obvious, and I know you are not in league with those who seek to destroy Neverwinter. The City Watch can do little to help in this search. Their numbers are barely enough to keep order in the streets of Neverwinter. Others, like Fenthic or myself, have duties that require we stay here. How do we know the creatures are even still alive? By all accounts, the creatures escaped the battle at the Academy unharmed. And there are many reports of strange beasts pouring in from every district of the city. You must recover the water Davian creatures if we are able to if we are to survive the wailing death. The fate of Neverwinter rests on your shoulders now. I'll do it, but the rewards better be worthwhile. Whatever rewards you seek, fame, fortune, glory, you shall have in abundance, provided you are successful in this task. Please. I ask for your discretion in this matter. News of the attack and strange creatures roaming the city will only add to the panic and chaos already in the streets. To aid you in your task, I will give you this Stone of Recall. You will find it to be a valuable tool in your quest. You can activate the Stone of Recall at any time, and it will instantly teleport you and anyone in your service back here to the Temple of Tia. Any time you go through the teleportation portal in Tyr's temple, it will instantly send you and any companions back to the place your stone was last activated. That's handy. There is little else I can tell you about this mission. Whenever you need provisions, come speak to me again, and I can sell them to you through the store here at Tyr's temple. Take this gold so you can buy the necessary supplies for your mission. Remember to stock up on healing potions before you go. They will be critical to your survival. I will begin my search for the Water Davian creatures at once. You might want to seek someone to accompany you in your mission. There are a number of mercenaries for hire at the Trade of Blades located in the city core. A good place to begin your search for the missing creatures might be the Peninsula District. There have been several eyewitness accounts of strange beasts in the area. Farewell. May Tyr guide your steps. Alrighty. That was a huge wall of text. Normally I would go with Tommy, but since I'm a wizard, I'm going to want some muscle to back me up. So I think I'm going to grab either Linu, who is the cleric, or... I forget his name, but there's a fighter in there, too. Oh, please, can you help me? You're with the city militia, aren't you? The guards at the gate said I might get help over here, but I don't know if they were serious or not. What is it, woman? Why are you bothering me? I, I, I'm sorry, but it, it, it's just so horrible. I, I thought I could find something to help over here. Please, please listen to me. It's the Peninsula District. I, I live in there and, oh, it's just horrible. The killing. Everyone's running for their lives. It's horrible. 
This does not concern me. Get lost. But the Peninsula District is in total. I, I mean, the prisoners are killing everyone. Please? I've been nowhere else to... I guess I'll just wait here then. I guess he's not the fighter mercenary. Um, well, I know there's a barbarian over here, but I don't know if he's the one I should be taking. Charwin, she's... I think she's a ranger. Let me go talk to him. Oh no, he's a monk. I guess I'll just take the barbarian. I thought there was a fighter henchman Greetings. somewhere. I see you are not yet infected by the plague that ravages Neverwinter. Among such suffering and misery, we who are not yet afflicted must be grateful for our health. Who are you? I am Dalen Red Tiger of the Uthgard tribes of the Frozen North. But it has been over a year since I left my people and came to Neverwinter. Now I earn my living as a blade for hire. Why would an Uthgard tribesman come to the city? My tribe is noble but small. Among them, there was little chance for a young warrior to prove himself or earn a wife. But I am young and strong, and my people are renowned for their skill in battle. Here in Neverwinter, I found work at the docks as a guard for the cargo and shipments being transported. Then what happened? The coming of the plague changed everything. The quarantine halted all incoming or outgoing ships. There was no work and no money. I should have left the docks then. Many of the dock workers were afflicted, men I had come to know as friends. I stayed to ease their suffering, but in the end I could do nothing to save them from the wailing death. With my friends dead, there was no reason to stay in the docks, not with things getting worse. Now I earn a living with my axe as a freelance mercenary. I'm looking for a good mercenary to help me in my mission. I am no stranger to battle or bloodshed, but I am a warrior with honor. I will not undertake any sinister mission. Had I desired such work, I could have found employment back at the docks. I work for Lady Arabeth. I have been instructed to find several missing creatures that are ingredients for a plague cure. Arabeth's reputation is well known throughout the city, so I have no fear your mission will bring dishonor to me. I will work for you if you can agree upon a fair price for my services. I'm not one to boast of my own abilities, and the skill and ferocity, ferocity of the Uthgard tribes are well known throughout the north. I doubt you will find any other axeman for hire who is my equal. Only 200 gold pieces, and I am your willing servant. That seems a little expensive. I'll give you 150. I'm sorry, 200 is my final offer. If you do not wish to hire me, I'm certain of this shell. Uh, well, I don't really want to pay that much right now. Let's go see how much Linu will charge. Because she can fight and she's a healer. Please now, I already told you that I didn't mean to step on your cat. It ran right in front. Oh, you're not that other one. Oh goodness, how embarrassing. Why does this always happen to me? Who are you? Um, before I tell you anything about me, I would like to ask you a question if you don't mind. Go ahead. You're not one of those dirty, underhanded, conniving thief types, are you? No, I'm not. Why do you ask? I have not... I have had nothing but problems with irritating despic... Dis despisable thieves ever since I left. But that's not important right now. Let me introduce myself. Okay? 
My name is Lino N Lanero, a devout priest of Sayanine Moonbow. I seek to continue my adventures by hiring myself out as a healer. I'm looking for a good healer to help me in my mission. I want to trust you and I need the work, but I really don't care to be involved in any shady deals. Perhaps you can tell me more about this mission. I work for Lady Arabeth. I must find several missing creatures that must be used in to find a plague cure. Arabeth has worked hard to combat this plague, so I am sure I can trust her instincts in this matter. I would love to work for you if you can agree on a fair price for my services. My goal in life is to get through with a minimum of pain, but sometimes one has to aim for simple survival. To achieve that, you will need an experienced healer. I promise I will do my best to keep you in excellent health. Only 200 gold pieces and you will gain the talents of one who can heal and fight. That seems a little expensive. I'll give you 150. Perhaps we can meet in the middle and settle on 175? Huh. Deal. You will not regret this, dear Sagi. My skills are yours to command. I will follow you and perform to the best of my abilities according to the orders you have given me. Anytime you wish to issue new orders, you have only to speak to me again. Alright, so we've gained a follower. Let's put her crap down here. <coughs> yeah, reading all that dialogue does make my voice a little hoarse. Eventually, if it's taking up too much time, I may just stop reading the dialogue altogether, because you can probably make it out on the screen anyway. Citizen, you should speak to me before going through this game. That's okay. Button, so I don't have to keep going in this Quick save. G. Okay, let's quickly... Oh. Oh well. Don't go far. We need to talk, citizen. Well now, met. You if you're going into the peninsula, keep your head out. There's been a prison break and the place is crawling with trouble. How did we escape? Rumor is that the Captain Alex and the head gal are set them free. Makes no sense to me he was a good man and ran a tight ship. Where's this prison? Southwest of here, at the top of the hill. It commands a great view of the harbor, not that the prisoners ever get to see it. Are any areas still safe? Set of seven is the one in charge of the operation. The prisoners have her pretty much penned in, but she's managed to secure her quarters to the southeast. If you're looking to help, I'd recommend you go see her. She has better information on what is going on than I do. Thanks for the warning. If you want to thank me, go to Sato Sebu at the headquarters. We can definitely use your help cleaning up the head gallery's mess. I'm going to summon my little companion here. Inside, so I like that they made it so you can't destroy the loot. Doesn't look like my friends are doing any damage to it, except the dog. Let's see what we got. Got some arrows and a copper ring. I don't need the arrows, so I'm just gonna keep the copper ring. Alright dear, I'm getting to it. I'm all done. 
thing I'm concerned about taking the healer with me is that eventually I'm going to run into traps and I don't think I'm going to be able to take a spell that disables traps, so I'm a little worried about what I'm going to do in that case. <laughs> I sound like some kind of evil baron in the 18th century. Uh, your guts. I look like it too. Pause it. It's like a damn dog that comes at that point. Victory will be ours! Who were they? Escapees from the prison. I heard one say that it was the head gowler himself who freed them. I don't like the sound of it. What do you know about the prison? Captain Alephant, he's the head gowler there. He runs a tight ship, or at least he used to. Some say he's the one who set the prisoners free. You'd better go. Keep to the shadows. Thanks again, I'll be there. Round, but that's not 
What brings you here? The gods weren't supposed to let anyone else into the Peninsula District. Say, you aren't a new recruit, are you? Lady Erebeth has temporarily assigned me to militia service. Has she now? Well, that's the first bit of welcome news I've heard all day. Who are you? Seto Sibyl of the Neverwinter Militia. I'm in charge of the operation here. And you? I'm called Sage. Very well, Sage it is. Truth be told, we've got our hands full in the Peninsula District, and I could use your help. It's a bit outside the standard militia duties, though. What kind of job? With all the prisoners in the streets, we're stretched to the limit, just trying to keep the civilians safe. As if the whaling wasn't enough. What I need is someone to get inside that prison and figure out what the hell is going on down there. Lady Arabeth's authorized a 300 gold piece bonus to any militia member who can bring me the proof that the situation's been resolved. Consider it danger pay. How do you intend to get me into the prison? They're running the prison like a fortress, sending out raiding parties and then retreating back inside. It's been hard to get hold of them. I think they probably carry keys to get into the fortress once they finish looting or whatever. Nobody we've caught has had one though. Since you can't bust down the front door, you'll have to find the person with that key. I'd start near the sewers in the southwest of the district. We've seen a number of groups around there. Alright, I guess I'm your man. Good luck then, and don't forget to report back to me if you manage to resolve whatever the trouble is down there. Stealing all your stuff. And uh, after this episode, I think I'm going to rearrange my hot bars a little bit so that it works a little better for me. I'm going to take a quick rest here. To it. Plague bodies. I don't want that getting any sort of infection from this. So. Getting the 
this house? Oh, I don't uh, think I can do lock. that. Sorry. Some corpses. Why did they always get the meat Maybe I should have hired from Galen. Some of my little doggy. Let's go attack. Wait. Oh. We'll do that. Special fire. I think I'm going to leave this episode off here. I'll see you all next time.